Australia's foreign minister used a visit to Timor-Leste on Thursday to warn the nation against going into unsustainable debt to the Chinese on a major gas project. Australia's foreign minister Penny Wong said she discussed with Timor-Leste's president Jose Ramos Horta on the greater sunrise of 50 billion US dollar gas field beneath the sea that the seabed that separates their two countries. Ramos Horta said last month that he was prepared to turn to China to fund the Tasi main infrastructure project that would pipe greater sunrise gas to Timor Leste. Canberra and Dili have been arguing over how to share greater sunrise revenue. Under a maritime border treaty they signed in 2018, Timor-Leste would receive 80% of the revenue if the gas is piped to Australia and 70% if it is piped to Timor-Leste. This, this has been stuck for many years. Uh, I, I've said to the president and to others, you know, we need to unstick it. We need to see how. Uh... Meanwhile, Arizona Governor Duke Ducey met with Taiwan President Tsai Ing-wen in Taipei to discuss economic and educational cooperation. In the meeting at the presidential office in Taipei, President Tsai said that Taiwan is seeking to bolster cooperation with the U.S. in the semiconductor and other high-tech industries. Ducey said Arizona and Taiwan are global semiconductor leaders and share great partnership. He said Arizona will establish a foreign trade office in Taiwan. Ducey arrived in Taiwan on Tuesday for a visit focused on semiconductors. He is on a mission to woo suppliers for the new 12 billion US dollar Taiwan Semiconductor Manufacturing Corp plan that being built in his state. He's traveling with the Arizona Chamber of Commerce and Industry President and the head of the state's economic development agency. Taiwan和美国都会是继续共同捍卫印太区和平稳定的重要的盟友。